I am thrilled today to have the opportunity to speak with you about an exciting opportunity that Places for People has in partnership with the communities of North St. Louis and North St. Louis County. Places for People is fortunate to be in partnership with the RECAS project. And our focus as we enter Mental Health Awareness Month in May is to bring the message of how emotional health and emotional well-being are absolutely essential to overall health. Many times we put aside that emotional part of our overall health and well-being. We don't see it the same as we do in terms of a broken leg or uh, the flu or even something like COVID-19 that we are currently experiencing. But the fact of the matter is that how we think, how we feel, how we see the world, and how we believe the world sees us are critical in terms of not only our emotional well-being, but also our physical well-being. Whether it's a pandemic, whether it's a family loss, whether it's the loss of a job, whether it's the loss of a relationship, the key to overall health and well-being is how resilient we are, how resilient we can be. Our goal with this series is to really impress on the community the importance of emotional health and emotional well-being and to provide tools, information, and skills to help the members of our community to be able to, in fact, work towards the goal and objective of emotional health and emotional well-being. This objective of the series is extremely important because historically, in the African American community, we tend to kind of poo-poo this whole concept of emotional health and emotional well-being. We see ourselves as strong people. And Lord knows, we have been strong. We have worked and figured our way through slavery, engendered servitude, Jim Crow, and all the other things that have worked in many ways against us, housing policies, such as redlining, and other things that have been both legal over time, and even though now they are not legal and they are against the law, the vestiges of the effect of those policies, particularly again around housing, that have in many ways brought our communities uh, significant lack of resources, lack of opportunity. It is most important for us, yes, we're strong. Yes, we've gotten through a lot. But we are also human. And human beings, again, are genetically vulnerable particularly in terms of our emotional health and our emotional well-being. So we are hopeful that this series will communicate the importance of emotional health and well-being in all of our communities, but particularly the African-American community.